Well, there's some of the most bizarre calls placed to 911 operators, complaints about a roommate's bad behavior, lousy air conditioning, and poor service, and it certainly does not end there. Let's go back to Sinjin Alexander. Sinjin, this list was released by Ecom. Why is that? Yeah, they're trying to get the message across. Only call if it's a true emergency. 911, do you need police, ambulance, or fire? This is where most 911 calls are answered in BC, and the majority are legitimate emergencies. Not all. I'm sorry, you're calling because you're having an issue with a vending machine? A vending machine had eaten his money. These phones ring 3,400 times a day. So when someone asks for the number of a local tire shop, Unfortunately, I can't give you that number, okay, because this is 911. Sir, 911 for life and death emergencies only. And he called 911 while he was on the road. Yeah. Operators can't just hang up because every call must be treated like an emergency. They listen to the background noise, the caller's voice. Are you safe? Can you speak freely? Because you don't know if someone's trying to tell them something that they might not be able to say openly. In 2015, Ecom got calls like, my roommate used my toothbrush. A coffee shop is refusing refills. I need help getting a ball out of a tree. The air conditioning system had woken up her from her sleep and she would like us to come deal with the noise. I think it's a problem that exists for all 911 centers in North America. She's right. A woman in Ohio complained about lousy Chinese food. I asked to get my money back and they acted like they don't understand me and took my food and won't give me my money back. And this is why you call 911. A pod grower called for tips. How much, you know, trouble you can get into for one plant. And a woman in Texas dialed 911 because she was having a nicotine fit. Hello. Hello. I need some cigarettes. No matter where you are, the message is simple. 911 is only for true emergencies. Okay, Sinjin, so some uh, pretty wild examples there. But back to that uh, uh, theme about true emergencies, how exactly does Ecom define that? Yeah, so a fire. Is there a fire? Is there crime in progress? Is it a medical emergency? Is your safety at risk? If so, call 911. And they say, listen, if you're not sure, they do want you to call them. Scott? Okay, good tips. Thank you, Sinjin. You bet.